се разпада последното си well, actually, I'm telling a story that might have happened anywhere in Germany, in Bulgaria. It's the story of the last family on earth I shot in the north because I wanted to really be focused, aesthetics and intuition. These are the two pillars, so to speak, on which the whole production rests. That's the typography of my creative work as a filmmaker, the aesthetics of relationships, but also the environment the whole setting. And then I felt inspired to make such a film. Without this motivation, I wouldn't have made it. It just happened, and I was the basis. Well, we are right now celebrating 100 years of this documentary, and thus I decided to name the lead bow, the men, Nanook, it's intentionally so. But then, please, bear in mind, these are not Inuit. It's, it's a fictional story, just a story that I have developed. There are legends, but they are not all from the north. Uh, the weather was quite cold, but as we are northerners again, it was uh, at the same time difficult, but easy, because we know how our indigenous people are living. Uh, those are neighboring us. There are uh, several indigenous minorities living in our republic, Evenki, Evans, and she knows about their way of life, and it was quite uh, not too much difficult to, to, to play this role. And the, script was, the script was very wonderful, and you could see uh, in, in the script and through certain phases how the idea gets more and more clearer, and uh, clear like the water which comes out, as you mentioned. And uh, the financing wasn't that, 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 that difficult because um, the, the, the idea was so great to, to make a film in the eyes where uh, I think love is much, uh, much, much, much uh, more visible. I mean, you feel it because it's so cold and every human emotion uh, seems doubled, uh, tripled or something. Um, the script was quite based on an Inuit legend, but then at the end it turned that the story based on a legends and mythology and stories of indigenous people of the Arctic. And the, you know that the Saha people also belong to indigenous people of the Arctic, and there are also another people living all over the Arctic area. And uh, yes, this question is kind of uh, interesting because uh, and we noticed since yesterday there were questions about family and about relationship in our area. To have many kids, it's a usual thing in our area. You know that Republic of Saha, it's kind of very big uh, ob object uh, um, in the region inside of Russia. Maybe some of you know where is that, Yakutia, Republic of Saha. It comprises almost, almost one and fifth of the territory of Russia, but the population is very small. It is less than one million people. And of course, kind of policy of local government is to have more children, and it's okay. For example, I have three kids. Yeah. And three kids, probably for Europeans, maybe many, but three kids for our area is quite a good number, you know. <laughs> well, and uh, yes, uh, we are keeping our traditional way of life. Uh, uh, it's, it's the same all over the world, I mean, families. I, I can't say that uh, it is totally different how to have families and build relationships in our area. Yeah, it's the same, but maybe just locations and all those uh, harsh conditions may be different. There is such kind of, of course, problems in our community when youngsters choose mm -hmm. kind of better way of life, they move to city center and leave those rural areas. There is such kind of problems. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, it's their choice because the uh, world is changing and the same is happening in our re region too. As I said, beauty, aesthetics, that was our main idea. This, this was what it was all about, and we wanted to build the characters, the figures in this film, so that they would be aesthetical, no matter who it was. This was, so to speak, our lead idea, our main idea. And we all live together. We had a number of rooms uh, on the same floor, in the same building. And we really tried to make sure that we had close relations. We also took care of hygiene, whether people changed their clothes 
cleaned their nails. This was important, so we looked at all the details, even the nitty-gritty of everyday life, and I think that's what you also see in this production. Actually, the film is bigger than we are, and we need to serve the film. We need to have this particular attitude. We must not hurt or damage the film.